Thank you. Thank you very much for ha having us. And uh, we feel certainly very privileged uh, to be included in the Ether conference. I had a chance to, to listen uh, yesterday and it seemed in, incredibly interesting. Uh, and I was thinking um, it was a lot about um, understanding and uh, listening and trying to uh, understand other, maybe other uh, ethnic groups, other religions, uh, other nations. And um, so I was thinking in between the two souls, the musical souls, um, it, the communication is probably based on very same principles only it appears in a kind of micro microcosmos, but the principles would be the same because obviously we are two people with different views, different musical maybe tastes and, and um, musical ideas can uh, very often feel like your own child and uh, you can feel very touchy about it. So it is um, essential that we understand, try to understand each other's uh, views and accept the difference and, and try to gain something from that. And um, today when we were kind of uh, running through what we would, we, what we might do, uh, we were surprised how little we actually talk. And it, uh, it takes me back to uh, Thanda's comment yesterday when, when he was telling about listening to this uh, Algerian lady singing and uh, not understanding the words, but uh, completely understanding the emotion behind it. And I think it's a little bit the same. You, we, we probably are going to talk a bit in Czech as well, but I really hope that you will understand what, what's happening in, in our souls and how we uh, communicate on, on level of intuition uh, rather than rather than explaining things, and uh, obviously I will do some explanation about what what we do, but I think a lot of it will be just uh, up to you to to decide what's going through our mind. So uh, we actually how two of us got together. We are both classically trained musicians, and I come from a family of uh, my you know musical family. My father uh, was a conductor and composer and I was brought up very much, you know, strictly classical and everything else is slightly inferior, you know, and, and classical music is the top. And uh, th there was a moment in my career where I was already very tired of uh, all the uh, all the judgment of musical, musical critiques, you know, and about the preciseness so everyone knew how Mozart should sound and everyone, everyone knew how the right interpretation of Beethoven was. And I was badly missing freedom in, in music making. And uh, so I started uh, my first sort of free band based on folk music. And uh, that's how we met with Jakub. Jakub became the member of the band uh, playing accordion. And um, then it went even further. Um, we, you know, at some, sometimes after the concert, we would have a party together and we would just, we would be horsing around and, and just improvising and playing. And suddenly we discovered that uh, actually two people can be even freer in sense of improvisation and, and um, basically that, not much has to be agreed in music and a lot of it can be just sensed and kind of presumed and uh, uh, over. So we started playing together first for fun. And then somebody asked us, why, why don't you come and play in the pub? And then, then somebody asked us, well, maybe you could give a concert and we can go to jazz club or you know, do things like that. So we started and uh, we absolutely, fell for it, you know, we absolutely loved it. Um, and over the years we developed uh, kind of signals or some sort of body language. Um, so a lot of things doesn't have to be voiced at all. And a lot of things doesn't have to be agreed. 
So um, what we would like to start with, we would like to present a, a Jewish melody, klezmer, klezmer tune, and just to play around with it. Just start with the simple tune and try to sort of build up on it and, and create something. And um, then perhaps uh, we, we play something very contrasting, like something like a, a Scottish dance, Scottish jig, and uh, try to work on it in a slightly different way. And then we were thinking, well, we'll see how it develops, how much time it will, because everything is open. We basically agreed very, very little. And um, we might try to, to, tr uh, to play something absolutely open, like a, a blues uh, 12 bar uh, phrase, where uh, the, the freedom is enormous. You can basically create the melody out of one single note and it, it would still work. Or you can do some complicated scales. And, uh, so, so that we'll see if there's time, but that could be something you, I, we were hoping in ideal world, if we, if we are now in Leeds and you, you are with us face to face, we were hoping that you could join and jam with us and, and you know, clap for us. Uh, I, but um, unfortunately, online it's impossible because everything would be badly delayed, uh, but um, maybe you can dance or sing with us without us hearing you. And um, at the end, we would like to present something which we already kind of agreed. So again, little Jewish melody, which, uh, which is kind of a final product, although there's still uh, space left for improvisation. So let's start with a simple, simple melody with which uh, we both know. I am not going to pretend, pretend that I'm just throwing it at Cuba. We both know the melody, but let, let me just introduce it. So what we would now do that I come to the rehearsal and I present a tune to Kuba and he would probably want to play with me to, to get the, to the phrasing <laughs> similar to me. So let's shall we try it please. <laughs> together so let's be more together tune and now we need to dress it up uh, so sh shall we do the, the, the harmony can you try all would, kind of harmonies yeah i would like um harmony yeah and i will i will play the melody and you yeah, will improve yeah. so i'm going to repeat what we have just done and we need to discover what we like what kind of code harmonic code we, we would like so kuba is going to improvise all kind of harmonies Thank you. 
když dolů, to je super. Děláme jako combination, je? different rhythm by that stage we would normally be probably arguing about oh, about you know th this one i don't like you know so i did something really sort of stupid which doesn't really sound very idiomatic i think it was my, my me trying to pro provoke uh, jakub to disagree but he's too polite <laughs> and so and then of course we could do something very simple like I, I, I sort of like the best. Yeah. syncopation but I guess uh, what would finally probably happen would be combination of all those things and we would probably do it every time differently so um, now we have kind of a skeleton of, of the melody um, what, what would normally probably happen and maybe we don't have time for that now that we would add another another tunes maybe make a kind of mosaic of consisting of other tunes we know from the same sort of style and uh, created longer section of music actually we are going to play something similar later on so you can you you have, will have uh, uh, you will know how it looks when it's done and now um, very important part of what we call freedom in music is uh, improvisation. And as you probably already noticed, I, uh, when I repeated the tune for Cuba, I was already uh, a little bit bored and I, I started to sort of horsing around and fiddle around with the music. So what would normally happen, we would probably uh, get the, the basic rhythm and form and start improvising on it. So probably I would present the melody and then we would swap the improvisation. So shall we? Yeah. So melody and then I will po the first or you start to improvise.
D major. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, as, as you know, we are just having fun, and uh, that's that's why we actually together. <laughs> and uh, communication in that is maybe even more important. The, the experience itself is much more important to us whether we sort of make mistake or you know whether it's really right in style and maybe one could uh, argue whether the ornamentation is the right jewish ornamentation we actually don't bother too much we we, we think that you know being together and create music together is much more important and that that's the point why we both kind of need it the, counterpoint from classical music. Because in classical music, everything is given and every single note is exactly written out and you have all these, you know, uh, little markings by composer, you know, about loudness, length of the note, dots, you know, even every accent is done. No freedom. Well, there, there's also freedom in it and, and you can find your freedom, but it's different way of music making. And uh, this is something which really fulfills us uh, completely. And uh, so now maybe uh, we would like to demonstrate uh, how we sometimes deal with music that uh, there's, again, there will be a theme, uh, Scottish jig or Irish jig, uh, Morrison's jig. And uh, we often like, uh, to let the music evolve towards the theme, not starting like what you just heard, uh, you know, which we, which we demonstrated on the uh, klezmer, you first knew the, the, the tune and then we kind of built up on it. Now we would like to delay the presentation of the tune and just play around with the rhythms and, and harmonies and then eventually giving a signal to each other, we would for the first time present the theme. And then uh, the jig, this jig consists of two contrasting sections and uh, we, we would like to try, and again, without any agreement, just try to combine these two sections together and see how they fit. And then eventually I will give the signal and we play the, the tune together, how it should sound, what you would expect to hear in the beginning. And maybe we, we also leave some sections for improvisation in it. <laughs>
here, it's, it's a way how we sort of created the piece was basically nothing was agreed. Obviously, both of us knew the melodies uh, very well. It's not like, you know, we're not gonna pretend that we heard it for the first time, obviously not. But, uh, and we do play this tune together. It wasn't first time we sort of build it up, but in, it comes always differently. It doesn't have any rule. The, the, the rule is that we are responding to each other and because we know each other so well. So when I see that Jakub already showing his, you know, eyes on me, I know he wants to play a solo and uh, he knows that when I'm starting to boil up, you know, and getting louder and maybe in higher position on the violin, he already presumes that the, the moment where we kind of land on the theme together is coming. So it's, again, it's not about, uh, about things being decided in advance and, and agreed. It's about momentarily feeling and, and feeling one another. Uh, so now maybe we could do something which is completely free and that's um, just uh, using the 12th bar phrase which is used for rock and roll uh, or blues and, and, and swing and, and to build up on it. Uh, there was once uh, a guy who created blues singing it only on one single note all over. It's, it's, a, it's a great fun and it just uh, illustrates uh, what space this, this includes. Uh, you know, you can nearly, if, if you kind of keep the, the scale and, and, and you know, tonality and, and the model sort of uh, scale, which doesn't include the dangerous notes, then you can basically play any combination of them in, in, in any of them. So let, let's uh, start with uh, just the skeleton of the blues and then we build up on it. Uh, key. key. No. Which key? A. A major. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
so on. <laughs> of course, it's very easy to stop the blues and to play the blues, and it's very difficult to stop. One could play for hours. <laughs> Thunder knows what I'm talking about, I'm sure. But again, the freedom here is absolutely complete because we don't even have a tune. As, as you could see, tune could be just single note. So easy. And, and then, of course, what one could pick up any other and maybe sing about what we just experienced, experiencing, and then we are happy to be here and uh, to share our music with you. So uh, now for a change, uh, we would like to finish with uh, presenting something which we have agreed already. Again, it's not written in music. It's not that every single note come, counts. It's, uh, there's a lot of freedom in it and a lot of uh, improvisation in it. But the form is agreed and the basic skeleton is agreed. And uh, luckily there will be uh, much more happening than just a form and skeleton. So uh, this is again uh, a Jewish klezmer uh, tune. So yes, it's too for me. <laughs> he, he says he doesn't remember the form. <laughs> so maybe the form will be created as well. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you very much. <laughs>